one flying over that top rope. A charging lariat from Styles. Jacobs now opening up on Styles. Unbelievable. Styles has 15 minutes. 15 minutes, Stephen. And Jason Cross. This this bull trap here. He's just trying to get the goat of AJ Styles. It's a psychological thing on Cross. Trying to get the goats on Styles to make it even more of a handicap match. Give me, I mean, that was the exact attire AJ Styles wore when he was in the NWA Elite. With, with Jeff G. Bailey, even called the role model. And you know how sickened I was. How the pit of my stomach churned to have to say those words about this despicable low life, Jason Cross. I hope that AJ Styles doesn't get as angry as you are. Because if he does, he doesn't have a chance. Come on. AJ Styles, just 15 minutes. He has to survive. If he can do it against two of the most phenomenal athletes in wrestling today. I know, but AJ Styles could very well be the most phenomenal athlete in wrestling today. So I think, yes, he does stand a chance, but a handicap match it is. And Styles better realize that at every instant, he better have eyes in the back of his head. AJ Styles. Oh my goodness! AJ Styles spring forward. Jason Cross on a moonsault. And he slice and dice. I think he truly ends them too. AJ Styles rewrites the book week after week. And here he's really come to the plate. He's up against some interminable odds here. Very, to many, many people, insurmountable odds. With Jason Cross and Adam Jacobs plus Jeff G. Bailey at a ringside. The final survival match this week on the wild side. Can AJ Styles survive for 15 minutes? We got 13 to go. 13 remaining. AJ Styles double baseball slide. The elite into the front row. And what? Wait a minute. Is he gonna go for that shooting? Oh my goodness! AJ Styles to the outside. A flying body press. Suicidal tendencies who collapse in a heap from row one all the way back to row four. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna go for the shooting stones? Because I honestly, I'm kind of scared there. I don't think he can make it. Jeff Bailey shaking the ropes. Oh, that cowardly pants yeah, ass that, son that, of a. I know, I know that, but that's what he does to the surprise of absolutely nobody. And now Cross and Jacob. Opening up on Styles, referee Andrew Thomas is, of course, letting every infraction fly here. AJ Styles stuck upside down in the trio rope. Oh, my goodness. What a double team maneuver by Jacobs and Cross. This NWA Elite, they may be their most unstoppable ever. Bill Barron's is out of the picture and they've been running the show. Total destruction already gone from Wildside for 30 days. AJ Styles. We saw Rob Williams able to survive. And I don't know how he pulled that one off, but he did not submit in that match. So we still have Rob Williams here in Wildside. But can AJ Styles pull it off against Jason Cross and Adam Jacobs? Man, it's going to be tough, but then again, I'm not AJ Styles. Well, we've learned that the odds really stacked against AJ. The elite numbers is too much to overcome for one. There you see Cross missing in the corner. The elite numbers too much to overcome for one. And then AJ Styles, wait a minute, Jason Cross cut it. He goes for a dragon suplex, standing switch by Styles. Reversal, going for a tiger suplex. Jason Cross blocks it. Cross blocks understanding switch, and a German suplex with a release. We know that Rick Michaels is out of the picture. We know that Onyx is out of the picture. Total Destruction now out of the picture for 30 days. Scotty Wren out of the picture. These guys have nobody left to help them. It's all alone, all down to AJ Styles and Rob Williams. Suffice to say, if you're doing some scoring, Steve Martin and the NWA Elite have scored some serious points here in recent weeks. A lot of people, as you pointed out, are out of the wild side picture. Some for 30 days, some for who knows how long. Things look, in fact, grim for the fan favorite faction here at Wildside. 
and AJ Styles, one of the big hopes here of the Faithful here at the NCW Arena. Can he survive a full 15 minutes here in your main event this week in Wildside? Best of luck, AJ. He's got plenty of skill, but I hope he has a lot of luck with him here tonight. He's going to need it. Definitely. AJ's down 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes in this matchup, actually down to the nine minute mark. The crowd obviously firmly behind AJ Styles. Nine minutes remaining in the 15 minute time limit. Nine minutes remaining. The Cross and Jacobs, they're, suffice to say, they're very familiar with AJ Styles. They know how that guy wrestles. They know all the old moves in his book even though for every match he seems to invent three or four new ones. But the familiarity with Styles is not going to work in Styles' favor. That's for sure. AJ Styles fighting off Cross and Jacobs. And he just knocked Bailey off the apron. Now AJ Styles up. Oh my goodness. A double drop kick knocking Styles off his perch. And now Cross and Jacobs joining Styles up on the top rope. Things do not look good for young AJ. What's this, attempted a hip toss? A hip toss off the top rope, a double hip toss. Unbelievable. Folks, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back with more of this incredible survival match right after this, hang tight. A pin attempt. Double sweep board back elbow by AJ Styles. One minute remaining in the time limit, one minute. Cross is down, Jacob's down, but so is Styles. Less than 60 seconds remain. AJ Styles, we're counting on you, man. AJ Styles, German suplex, rule for the Styles face buster. Jacob's quick kick to the face, breaking up that pin attempt by Styles. Can Styles hang on 30 more seconds? 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds. The deck is stacked. AJ Styles facing some serious odds here, but now 20 more seconds, and that's all it takes to survive and not get pinned. Can he pull it off? Can AJ Styles pull it off? 15 seconds! My God. AJ flying through the air. But 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the time ran out. That time ran out. AJ Styles remains in Wildside. He survives. 